Welcome back to the Church on a Mission videos and today we're looking at the book of Titus um, which is a letter written by Paul um, and in Titus 2 from verse 2 Paul writes this Teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, self-controlled and sound in faith, in love and endurance. Likewise teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanderers or addicted to too much wine but to teach what is good. They can then urge the younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled and pure, to be busy at home, to be kind and to be subject to their husbands, so that no one may align the word of God. So here, Ben, obviously there's a lot about here about women. Um, but actually, I think as we read that passage, there's stuff here for, for guys as well. So yeah. we're going to read this passage from a people perspective. Okay. Right? Um, because there's something about the, the difference between the generations. There's the older generation and the younger generation, wherever you put that line. Um, what, what do you think we can learn about the difference between generations and what they can bring to us and how we interact with one another? Yeah. Um, I think um, you have a lot more energy when you're in the younger generation. So you tend to have people that are carrying a lot more. They, they have, uh, say, in the in the church, let's say, or in the family, it's the younger generation, uh, by which I probably mean like 20s, 30s and into 40s mm. a bit, that are doing a lot of the practical stuff. Mm. They're, they are carrying the weight of stuff. In a family situation, that's when you may be bringing children into the world and it's hugely yeah. practical, mm. just doing a ton of stuff yeah. and carrying it. Um, and then the older generation, uh, they, they don't have to carry the stuff quite so much practically but boy, do they need to carry the stuff in terms of the vision of why we're doing what we're doing mm. um, and the culture that you said, how are we going to do this? What, what would be a great way? And so for me, this is about the older generation developing the next generation whilst not having to be quite so hands on necessarily. Mm. They've got space to say, let me let me tell you stories as to why we did it this way in the first place. This yeah. is what really matters about where we're going with this. This is a great way to do it. And this is how, mm -hmm. how we go about it. These are the cultural values in our community, in our family, in our church that really matter to us. So that would be one difference I'd see. That's great. And I think really, I suppose a, a, a rich church community needs both. Right? Yeah. We, well, yeah. we, just, we can't do it just with the young or just with the old. We need both, right? We do. Um, so what, what could be something that maybe an individual could do to, to kind of nurture that interaction? Because it's, it's not easy to, to, to bring that interaction and to bring that kind of community yeah. amongst it. So what, I mean, just, what could do? just deliberately hang out with different generations. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I grew up in a church and went to a, an evening where they did a games night, which was the whole community. And I remember <clears throat> playing this game in a group that I'd been put into, which was all across the generations. I must have been 14, 15, part of the youth. And there's this older guy, probably in his uh, 70s, um, playing this particular game where you had to waft a newspaper fish across the, across the floor and he's, he's wafting it away and it's not working too well for him. So he just, he just cheats, he picks it up and he just <laughs> forces it across the line. And I, for the first time I think, do you know, old people are really cool. <laughs> I go, really, I'm enjoying hanging out. And uh, that's a small example, but hang out, find places where you, you can hang out and the interactions will flow and you'll, you'll listen, like in our church, you'll hear stories of why people gave money towards the buildings that we now enjoy in the first place and, and what God did for them in ways of provision. And you're just picking that sort of thing up all the time. Ah, oh, that's why we do it. Oh, I never appreciated that's how, that was the sacrifice that was paid in order that we might be, enjoy what we enjoy now. Loads of stuff like that, really helpful. No, that's great.